Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to look at a few more skills that would be on the Microsoft Excel certification test. Specifically, I want to look at some skills for formatting worksheets and workbooks, modifying page setup, adjusting row height and column width, and customizing headers and footers. All of these skills are pretty easy to, to master, so I'm not too worried about it here. So let's see, I already have a worksheet set up here and one of the first things we'll do is just look at some of the page setup features so if I head over to the page layout ribbon I notice there's options for margins orientation and size and if you've worked with any of these in Microsoft Word they're just the same so I can click on margins and they have a few defaults on there or I can go to custom margins where I can set them differently these default margins are a little bit different than they would be in Word but the same concept you can increase or decrease just by clicking those numbers for the various areas I'll go ahead and update this one to 0.95 to the right is 0.95 and of course I can click in here and just type in a number as well so I could do a one inch margin there, one inch on the bottom, in fact we'll do one. Okay, now if your worksheet doesn't take up the full amount of space on the on the sheet, then you do have this option to center horizontally and center vertically. I'm going to click OK. We don't see much of a change here, but under print review it'll look a little different, but I'll look at that later. Now of course there's also an option for orientation, just two choices there. Do you want a vertical portrait or do you want a horizontal landscape? Depends on your data. And they also have the size of the paper that you might be printing on or working with. I usually always keep it at the default letter 8.5 by 11, but they do have other options if you need them. Now there are some other things for print area and breaks and things like that. However, we're going to check those out in another exam skill. Now, inserting headers and footers is also pretty similar to Microsoft Word, but maybe even a bit easier. So I can head over to the Insert ribbon, and then over here on the far right, there's a header and footer option. That takes me into a different view, and at the header, I get these three blocks. So in the middle block, I could go, go ahead and type in my um, workbook title if I want to. And then if I scroll down to the bottom, I can go to the Add Footer area, over to the lower right and then I can be on my header and footer ribbon and I could do a page number of and then I could click on number of pages and that'll display in there just click into the body to get out of that so I'm on page one of one all right well that makes sense and I'm gonna head over to view and it took me over to page layout view but I'm gonna jump back over to normal view so headers and footers pretty easy to work with in a spreadsheet not a lot of options there Last but not least is just checking out column widths and row heights. Now, if you select all of your columns just by clicking and dragging over those column letters, and if I double click in between any two column letters, that's the same thing as auto sizing all columns. All of my columns were already auto fitted. Okay, but I can also, while all those columns are selected, click and drag between any two columns and whatever I select, it's gonna set that width for all of those column widths. Now you'll notice this column here, column A, should be a little bit wider, so I'm just gonna double click right in between columns A and B, and that's gonna auto size just column A. Now I can select columns C, D, and E, and if I drag in between any of those, it will size all three of those equally. Now if I wanna be very precise, I can click and drag between a column, and you'll notice I get width options and points, but I also get a pixel measurement there too. And so I can kind of click and drag to get what I want. If that's not precise enough for me, if I don't have the motor skills for it, then I can select any columns that I want, head over to the home ribbon, over towards the right to the format option, and there is a column width option right in there. And I could type in a number like 15, which is about 110 pixels and set it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and make column C a little bit wider. I have all of those same options, by the way, for rows. I can select multiple rows by clicking and dragging on the row numbers, and then clicking and dragging in between any two rows to set the height, or again, I can, on my home ribbon, I can go to the format option, and there will be an option for row height or auto-fitting rows, and I could set specific numbers if I choose to. Another interesting thing is, I can select a column, like I can click on column C, again, by clicking the column letter, and I can choose copy. Then I can go to another column, I'll pick column E, and this time I'll click the lower portion of the paste button, and I'm going to go to paste special, and there's an option on here for me to paste just the column widths. 
So if you want to duplicate column widths or row heights for that matter, I can just paste column widths and then I'll click OK. And now column E is going to have the same width as column C. Pressing my escape key will deselect that. All right, so that's pretty easy to work with. And again, these are just a few skills from the format worksheets and workbook skills from the Microsoft Excel test. Next video, we'll tackle a few more skills. Thanks.